sad, dude. Hey guys, so I got a couple things in my P.O. box. There's some really big boxes. So I'm going to, I think I'll start with this one here. This one was the lightest. I haven't checked my P.O. box in a couple of days just because it had kind of slowed down like getting stuff, which is totally fine. I mean, I just have my P.O. box, so in case you guys do want to send me something, you have something besides, or like you have an address besides my home address to send it to. It makes me feel a little bit safer, you know? You never know with people nowadays. Um, but I got three big boxes and then an Amazon envelope. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. And something I was kind of thinking of buying at some point, but I wasn't totally sure. It's a record player. This is pretty sickening. All right, let's see, it looks like, oh wow, you can put in an aux cord. It's an AM, FM, radio, cassette player, turntable, whoa. Oh, you guys wanna see something like crazy satisfying? Okay, watch this. Wasn't that gorgeous? Okay, this is pretty awesome. I like, it honestly kind of has more of like a nine, like 80s, 90s kind of feel. Oh, I can't wait to play with this. This is gonna be so much fun. You guys just wait, you're gonna be seeing this in my vlogs, like when I'm doing aesthetic type vlogs, it's gonna be just like my record player. Okay, I shouldn't mess around with this too much cause I don't really know how exactly they work. Okay, yeah, I don't wanna break it. Okay, this is amazing though, thank you. And definitely something that I wouldn't buy myself cause I've seen them and I've thought about buying them. But then in the end, I'm like, oh no, it's not really like a necessity. I don't need it, you know, but this is pretty cool. <gasps> oh, and I know where it would look cute, except I don't have a ton of room for it. Okay, I have uh, ideas on where I'm gonna put this and like where it'll look super cute and like aesthetic and like go with my room. This is pretty awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, so this next thing, if it's what I think it is, like what the box says, I'm gonna have a lot more learning to do. One second, first I gotta figure out how to open this. With my little knife that I have in my car, it works great. I'm tempted to go out and get that instead of the scissors. It is what the box said, which is a Cricut Explore Air 2. I wanna be careful on how I get this bad boy out of here. Oh, and it's even a cute, like, mint kind of green. Wow. I honestly don't even know what these can all do. I think this, it's like to cut stuff for you. Okay, more time to create, more time for life. This DIY speed machine cuts over a hundred materials quickly, beautifully, so you can create stunning projects in record time. Oh, sick. This will be great for airbrushing. Like, cause I spend a lot of time with my X-Acto knife cutting like just stencils out of paper. And like, don't get me wrong, that works great. And I've really honed in on my X-Acto knife skills, but it is very time consuming. I could spend a whole evening like just doing that. Oh, cool. Uh, like, let's get started pack. I'm definitely gonna need that. Lots of reading to do for me, but that's okay because if that's what it takes to learn how to use this. Whew. Okay. Wow, these are a lot smaller and more lightweight than I thought. I like the color of it. Like, I guess I don't know if they come in different colors. Comment down below if you know if crickets come in different colors. Anything. Alright. Wow, sick, you can cut vinyl. That's what I think I'm gonna need. Wait, no, hold on. Vinyl is more for like stickers, I think. I don't think that's for like uh, stencils. What's the stencil material? I'm trying to, I can see it, but I don't know what it is. Wow, this is so pretty. Did you guys see that? That was so cool. Okay, I'm gonna close it. They don't want there to get to be dust in it. Oh my gosh! I, so of course I've like heard of crickets and I knew a little bit about them. Like I know women use them a lot for scrapbooking. 
my mom used to be a pretty big scrapbooker, which she's not. And so like when she was in her scrapbooking days, that was like just right when crickets had come out. Oh, this is so cool. Look out, you can make so many different things with this. Okay, I shouldn't get too into this now, but wow. Oh cool, warranty statement. Oh cool, and like some little papers probably to get practicing with and whatnot, I would bet. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm very excited to get going with this and to try this out. Thank you. This is simply incredible and I can't wait to play with it. Now I'm going to have more time for airbrushing. Um, things have kind of settled down a little bit more at home, so I should be doing more airbrushing. And this is definitely going to help out with <gasps> Wow, I'm just like, I have so many ideas now on how I can use this and not even just for stencils. Okay, amazing. Thank you so much. I've never even like considered getting a Cricut before. So I'm very pumped to try this out. Thank you, this is so cool. Lots of learning, but I will figure it out one way or another. Okay, I hope you guys can see me. You're on top of my fridge right now. This box was really heavy, so once I got it, oh, oh no. So once I got it inside, I didn't want to move it again. Okay, I probably have it sitting the wrong way, but it's a beefy boy. Okay, sorry, I hope that you guys can see it. Okay, one second. Let me move my camera so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, sorry. I know it's kind of hard to see me, but honestly, I think you guys just want to see what's in here. First things first. Lots of Squishmallows. Okay, wait. I can't do this. That works well. Okay. Lots of Squishmallows. <gasps> A soy and boo Squishmallow. I didn't even know that they made these. Okay, so look at little boo. So cute and little, and then Sully. I love Monsters, Inc. Probably one of my favorite Disney movies. I think there's so much going on in it, and it's so sweet and so cute. I love Monsters, Inc. I love the Sully, his eyebrows. Simply iconic, I could never. And he's got his little monster tail. I think he's gonna be living on my bed for quite a while. Hi, Sully. All right, after Sully, we have Hodge. You gotta read Hodge's tag. Oh, I have one other one in this collection, the little light bulbs. Meet Hodge, this wise and joyful Malo always makes time to stop and smell the flowers. He's kind, lighthearted, and quick with a joke. If you want someone to try something new with or simply keep you company, Hodge is the Malo for you. Hodge is cute. I don't know exactly what he's supposed to be. He's got like big ears, kind of the gray skin, curly, like I think this is like trying to mimic curly type hair. Oh, he is cute, cute. I love the little smile and I like when eyes are like that. It's so sweet. Okay, I see another squishy. Oh my God, is this Minnie? Oh, this is part of the Mickey and Minnie, um, like the vampire series. I have the Mickey, I believe. If I'm, I know I have another vampire one, so I hope I'm not mixing that one up with the Mickey. But she is cute. These must be like some of the Halloween collection. I like how her hat is like off to the side and she has one ear and she's perfect. Purple. You know, purple's not my favorite color, but I just really like this color purple that they use for Squishmallows. I think that it looks so cute on them, and purple's a really calming color. She has eyelashes! You guys know how I feel about Squishmallows and eyelashes. Too cute. Okay. Ooh. Oh, cool. These look like... Oh my gosh. Mom's mac and cheese. Hand poured all natural soy tumbler jar candle. Love my handy dandy little skizzy. Well, you know what? They're just cutting a little bit. <laughs> My dog Jake is watching me open this. Oh, for cute. And it does smell like mac and cheese. I love homemade stuff like this. Or like, not homemade, but small business type stuff. I think this is really cool. Cute. So that's going to be burning out in the kitchen, I think. And then we have handcrafted soothing lips moisture balm. Oversoid original products. Oh, that's cute. Oversoid. I like this tube shape because it's like a cylinder but then flattened. I think that's kind of cool. That. And thank you for supporting our business. Oh, I like these candies. When I'm a grandma, or I probably won't be a grandma, but I'll be like the cool great aunt. Cause I'm a little on the fence about kids. I like other people's kids, but I don't know how I feel about my own. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna be the one that always carries these types of candies. Oh, thank you for 
Oh, okay, these are like points, I think. Share your home social media for a chance to win a monthly. Oh, cool, I'm gonna, I have some people that I should send these to, to use. Wow, it's like a whole bunch of coupons and stuff. I'm gonna have to check out their um, website and see what I can get. Cool, thank you. I'm really excited to light that candle, I'm not gonna lie and eat all this candy. Peach chews. Oh, that's cute. It has kind of the old timey like wrapping. I like that. That's really cute. Birthday card, I think? My birthday isn't for a little while. Oh, for cute. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna break it. Even though it's a card, watch. It's one of those like pop-up ones. Those are so cool. Oh, and wait, 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 wait. So there's music in it, but it's not playing. But I like the idea. It's there and I like it. That's so cute. Not my birthday. Well, I guess May. My sister's birthday is in April. That's a really cute card though. All right, next we have a marshmallow blaster. Yes, I've seen these before. I should get some little marshmallows for my boy Jake. He loves marshmallows. Oh, cute, and there's even a target. But actually, even more than that, I am going to use it on my nephew, I think. He would really like this. Yeah, these pump action guns actually work a lot better than you would think, believe me. All right. Oh. Talib, so it's this little squishmallow. He's eating pizza and it has hearts on it. That's cute, little pterodactyls. This is Valentine's collection, it looks like. Meet Talib, this pizza-loving pterodactyl is cooking up something special. He combined his love for woodwork and food and built his own pizza oven. Now Talib can make specialty pizzas for all of his friends and other pizza enthusiasts. Would you like a slice? Is that even a question? Okay. Tiny Groovy Wubble Ball. When I was a kid, I would see these advertised on TV and I always wanted one, but I knew my parents would never get me one because they weren't the type of people that like would order, you know, online. Oh, I got a I just hope Jake doesn't pop it. Okay, so I'm too stupid to do this right now, but I will be blowing this up later. <laughs> Candy. Oh, a Fruity Pebbles cereal Easter bunny. I love Fruity Pebbles and I love getting chocolate bunnies. Even though they hurt my stomach, they're pretty good. Ooh, vanilla frosting Hershey Kisses. They come up with so many different flavors, it's honestly hard to keep track. But these could be really good. And you know, it's finally starting to feel like spring slash summer. My favorite gum. Uh, if you guys are wondering what I chew, it is Orbit's Sweet Mint Gum. It's such a soft, like, subtle mint flavor, but chef's kiss, it is simply amazing. A Reese's Peanut Butter Egg. Getting the, like, little Reese's shaped ones, like the little mini ones, those are good. I didn't realize I made nice giant ones. So that'll be getting devoured as soon as this video is done. <laughs> no, I actually did watch these guys one time. Oh, are they like coloring sheets? <gasps> Stickers. Oh, I definitely want the McDonald's sticker. Oh my gosh. I should give this to my nephew. I bet he would love to color on this. <laughs> Noodles and Company, my favorite restaurant right now. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I eat there. A lot more than I should admit, so thank you for those. They will be eaten up within a week. A week. <laughs> Stop. Okay, when I saw this, I was like, okay, wait, let me show you what I saw. So I saw this. I was like, Zippo? I don't smoke. But then, you guys, it is the Journey Escape album cover on a Zippo lighter. Yes, okay, I know. I won't give this to children. Whoa. Oh! <gasps> I don't want to set myself on fire, but that's pretty sickening. I wish I knew how people did the cool like flick where they like flick it open or like... Okay, so I can't do it, but this is so cool and it's actually a metal like case. I never knew I wanted a lighter before. Okay, I'm too scared to like actually light it, but that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna keep it in the box. I don't know if this is like a collector's item. It must be. It probably is. Um, yeah, genuine Zippo lighter made in the US. Okay, that's awesome. I want my face on the lighter. If I ever become famous enough, that's what I want. I want my face on a lighter. I didn't know I wanted that until now, but now I fiercely want it. More M&Ms. I think, are these the, yeah, dark chocolate mint? Thank you, because my last pack is gone already, so. <laughs> I appreciate this a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my gosh, cowtails. I saw them at a restaurant the other day and I almost bought one just like because I was feeling nostalgic. My candy drawer though. 
it stays well stocked. Oh, this is part of the Easter collection. It's a little chick. It's a little squishy. This chick has got quite the resume. From clubs and competitions to concerts and more, Amy is a busy bee both on and off the floor. In her spare time, she plans events that she isn't even a part of and hopes to be in charge of red carpet events someday. Well, she's adorable and I fully believe in her. Also, I hope you guys are jealous of my... I like this bag. I actually don't think I'm gonna throw it away because those heavy duty bags, they're hard to come by. So... What? Duncan iced coffee flavored jelly beans? Toasted coconut, butter pecan, caramel latte, hazelnut, and French vanilla. Okay, Duncan is really capitalizing on the fact that they're getting kind of popular. Like, jelly beans? I wonder if Starbucks is gonna release some now. I love their America Runs on Duncan's, like, advertising thing, because that's really smart. I'm not normally a jelly bean person, because one time I played that bean boozled game, I had such a horrible one, I can still taste it in my mouth today. Like, I remember what it tastes like, and it was god awful. So I'm a little hesitant now to try any sort of jelly bean, but those I think I will try, because they do look pretty good. And then we also got, it says something about airbrush. Oh, are these airbrush needles? Oh, sick. And different nozzles. So I don't know if you guys know when I got my airbrush, but when I got it, I got it at UBR, that place that has Amazon return products, and it was like a $40 airbrush, and it was missing some pieces um, and some like extra needles. If you airbrush, you'll understand what I mean by that. But it was missing some pieces, and honestly, I wasn't that bummed about it, cause like I got a $40 airbrush for $5. But yeah, it was missing some stuff. So here's like some more little nozzles and different point sizes. I'm gonna have to try to keep these. Sorry, I don't know if you can. Can you see that? Um, I'm gonna have to make sure I keep those in the correct box. Some cleaning tools. Um, also, I mean, pro tip, if you guys have an airbrush, just use Windex through it, because that's really all you need. And there's another little tool. Oh yeah, yep, and different needles. 0.2, 0.3, and 0.5. Oh, this is so cool. And they have, it looks like they're wearing little red hats on in there. I don't know if you can see. That's funny, but that's so that they don't get bent because once they get bent, you can't use them anymore. Then they're no good. Okay, this is awesome. And honestly, something that I haven't even thought about looking into or buying. So I really appreciate this. This is gonna help me out a lot. And I mean like, okay, so I'm super duper careful with my needle as it is, but this will make me feel good that like if I accidentally wreck my needle or something, I do have more to use. And I like the cleaning tools because sometimes it can be really hard to make sure that you've got it completely cleaned out. And it's like inevitably you're gonna have a little bit of paint stuck in there. And so like when you start on a new color, you have to be careful. Sorry, you guys might not care about this, but I like airbrushing and I know a little tiny bit about it. So it's fun for me to kind of talk about. Um, but sick, thank you, this is awesome. And I can't wait to start airbrushing more now, especially, especially now that I can make stencils and like there's just so much that I'm thinking that I can do with it and I'm super jacked. Krabby Patties. When I was a kid, I would eat a Krabby Patty and be like, oh, that's it. I'd like, that was my supper. I'm full. I'm good, mom. No need to feed me real food because I had a gummy Krabby Patty and I would even eat it like an actual hamburger. Oh, stop. Hey, Jakey, come here, bubs. I got you something. Or someone sent you something, Jake. Come here, someone sent you something, pal. I'd give this to Louie, but he is currently outside soaking up the sunshine. Okay. Oh yeah, it definitely smells. Baby, this for you. Do you want it? Yeah, it's for you, Silks, babe. Sorry, so right when I gave that to him, my camera died. Luckily, I have a bunch of spare batteries. Okay, let's see the candles. You guys look at this. How cute is that? I love candles that like look like food or something. I don't want to light them, but also I do want to light them. And Jake's going through some of the boxes that I already opened, thinking that he has more stuff because he's greedy. Just kidding, I love him so much. Oh, this is so cute. And I'm actually gonna keep the dish even when I burn the candle because I'm one of those people now that keeps the dish and uses it for something else. <laughs> Thank you, this is so adorable and I can't wait to light it. Mm. I don't even know what that smell is though, hold on. Ice cream soy wax. Yeah, I definitely got a vanilla kind of scent from that. 
Buddy, I don't think there's more stuff for you, pal. But if there is, how about I let you know, huh? Jake's just standing here watching me open stuff. He thinks he's getting more. Oh, just so you know, guys, a little teaser. Jake and Louie will be featured in some videos just for them. There are going to be videos. Um, I don't want to, like, say too much because unless... Or, because, like, I don't want it to be like, oh, she didn't deliver on what she said she was, you know gonna do but there are gonna be some fun videos scripted we're gonna do like a whole little production and it's gonna feature just my two boys so that should be fun and i'll let you guys know when it comes close to that video being released oh okay so i was kind of confused what this said but it says vans which is super cute i like when they it's like fun stuff like that and look at the back the little alien with pizza and he's wearing little vans oh i love that that's amazing Thank you very much, and I will probably be changing into this as soon as I wake up tomorrow. It'll be the first thing that I wear. That's awesome. I'm still simply obsessed with Vans, if you guys are wondering, and so is my mom. Um, God, I just can't get over how cute like this front is. It's got the little spaceship. That's so cute. Whoop. Mini marshmallows for my marshmallow shooter. And they're the jet puffed ones which are my favorite and i love these little guys their faces are so cute sorry i'm just very passionate about marshmallows all right you know what this is well i don't know what any of this is i guess until i open it so let's see i don't want to break anything oh stop it's Led Zeppelin. Okay, based on their pictures on the back, they don't seem like they're in like a rock band. Although I guess, I don't know. Is that, well, no, they're considered rock. I think of a little like folksy rock kind of. The classic 1969 debut album on 180G vinyl, Jimmy Page. I know that name, I just didn't realize it was Led Zeppelin. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm really embarrassed. I might cut that part out. Okay, this is so cool and I'm gonna be playing it on my record player. Oh, this is awesome, I love this. Yeah, I'm gonna have some records that I don't think I'm gonna put up on my wall, so that way like, I can listen to them when I want on my record player. I've always said that it's really pretentious when people have record players and try to say like, Ooh, it sounds so much better on vinyl. Like, okay, first of all, no it doesn't. It doesn't sound better on vinyl. Just because you like the cracks and the scratches in the disc doesn't mean that it sounds better. CDs were made because they're, well, more compact. And because it sounds better and like it's harder, I think, to scratch CDs. I mean, they definitely get scratched, but okay, wait, scratch that last part. I don't know if that's true or not. But the quality of them overall was better. You can say, hey, I like vinyl because of the scratches. It sounds like it's got a cool sound, kind of more authentic, like gritty. That's fine, you can say that, but do not ever tell me that something sounds better on vinyl because it doesn't. However, I have now decided, like of recently, so when I started seeing record players in TJ Maxx, I was like, oh, maybe I should get one because like I have these records. Even my mom thinks that like I should have a record player to play them on, but it's like, you know, I was like, oh yeah, you know, maybe I'm kind of changing my tune a little bit on them. And I have been for a few months, but like now I'm thinking, yep, I'll have some records that I don't put up on my wall. So that way I can listen to them whenever. And I don't want the, wall, the ones on my wall to fall down either. Like when I take them out and whatnot. So, <sighs> okay, sorry. Anyways, that's just my rant about records and how I feel. I like them, please don't get me wrong. I really like records and stuff and I can't wait to start listening to them actually because I have a record player now, but I just don't like when people say, ooh, it sounds so much better than vinyl. Oh, cool. <laughs> so this is from, okay, I don't know how to say this, but if you guys wanna take a look, they're on Amazon and it looks like a whole bunch of different shiny papers. Probably for my brand new Cricut that I got. Okay, this is so cool, and I have a lot of ideas for this kind of stuff. You guys, my Etsy, so so I have so many ideas that now like my my Etsy is gonna pop off again. Just kidding, I don't know, we'll see maybe. Or should I stick with Depop? Because I don't know how I feel about Etsy. Like I like Depop and stuff, I'll start selling stuff there. Okay, but I have so many things like in mind for this that I think is gonna be sickening. Cause they're all like different colored, but that glittery kind of material, I'm thinking very Dolly Parton. Jake, I was wrong, buddy. You got something. Snooks, you got something, come here. That's for you, baby. I know, look at that, you want that? You want that? You want it, Jake? You want it? That's for you, baby, that's yours. 
He's gonna take that and run away with it and then I'll never see it again. Sorry. So I currently have a salt container propped up, but not super well right now. Hold on. Oh, my head's getting cut off. Although I'm going off of the front screen on my GoPro and it's actually the back screen that shows you like the full view of what you're seeing. And that's not gonna make sense to you guys, sorry, but <laughs> moving on. Paint brushes. Oh cool, and they even show you like the strokes on the back. Thank you, I actually didn't realize how low I was on paint brushes until I was doing a little bit, or I had an idea for something the other day to paint and then I was like, wait, I actually don't have paint brushes. So thank you and those will be used. Oh, I don't have this one. You guys, it's a Tigger Squishmallow. Okay, sorry. I love Tigger when I was a kid. Oh, and they have a Dalmatian one too. Okay, so I have three out of the five. Jiggy, this isn't for you, baby. Sorry, now he thinks like everything's for him. This is not for you, Snooks. Oh yeah, I love Tigger. And when I was a kid, I remember that Tigger movie about when he was like going to look for his family because he couldn't find them. And like that movie literally made me want a gold heart locket so badly. Like I was obsessed just because of that movie, I wanted one. Okay, I see something in here, but I'm waiting. It's gonna be like the last thing that I bring out because it's pretty cool. Ooh, eucalyptus mint candle. Um, at night I have both of my lavender ones going because they're so calming and relaxing, which are two of the same words. Um, but I have those on at night before I go to bed to sort of calm down my room and make it feel super relaxing and inviting. Um, but this is eucalyptus mint and I'm probably keep this one in the kitchen because I actually spend a lot of time in the kitchen editing and whatnot. Like this is just where I hang out and work at the table and whatnot. So probably like that one out here, I think. Not that it matters. And you guys honestly probably don't care, but I'm just saying I have many different rooms with candles because we have two dogs and I know that my house smells like dog, but I can't smell it because I'm nose blind to it so I'm, I try to be really cautious about that so like when people come over I want to have candles on and whatnot like when friends come over so anyways all right oh, okay wait, wait wait I hope you guys didn't see that because that goes with the last thing I want to show you Yes, another O'Neill t-shirt. So I actually just went through my closet and I refolded most of my t-shirts. And I have so many O'Neill ones, but you guys, I'm telling you, if you don't wear men's O'Neill t-shirts, you're seriously missing out because they are the softest t-shirt you can get. Simply incredible. And I absolutely love them. And my collection is getting so good. Like I have so many. I'm pretty soon I'm gonna own like every t-shirt that they've ever printed, which I absolutely love. mac and cheese, which if you guys don't know me, hi, my name's Carly, I am severely lactose intolerant, and at least once a week I like to make myself completely sick off of Kraft mac and cheese. When I was a kid, my mom always made homemade mac and cheese, which was super good, don't get me wrong, I loved it, but all my friends, like at their house, their mom would make us box mac and cheese, so for me, that was just like, <gasps> the absolute biggest like treats you could have given me as a child was box mac and cheese. It was like a delicacy to me because I never ate it. So now that I'm an adult and I can buy my own food for the most part, <laughs> I like indulge on this and I'm, I make myself sick so often. I actually have some in the fridge, like a box that I just made. So thank you for basically just doing my grocery shopping. Like that's literally it. That's what I'll survive off of for a week. All right, the next. Oh, stop. 16 opaque colors for airbrushing. Okay, I appreciate this. And like everything you've sent me is so good. And I can't imagine how much money you spend on this. And like, I know that airbrush paint itself is not cheap. Not that I'm sure the Cricut or the record player was cheap or anything like that. But I just mean like, Thank you. Up until now, I've just been like mixing my own colors. Like I got the primary colors and like some basics but I was just mixing up my own with my pre-existing colors. So this is pretty, this is pretty cool. Thank you very much. This is gonna also make airbrushing go faster because I don't have to make my own paint. But so these are like all the colors. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna be airbrushing so much. <laughs> okay, so the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys 
is a cute little bike helmet, which will come in handy. Jake, it's okay, baby. Some, like, I think these go on your hand and knee pads, and they match the helmet, so I like that. And those are to go with my new hoverboard. Okay, so I don't mind hoverboards. I'm, like, I think they're kind of cool. However, I'm not the most coordinated person. Like I run into a lot of stuff and I, well I wouldn't say I fall frequently. Like I'm a pretty solid walker. I mean, I trip, but I can always catch myself. So I guess maybe that makes me coordinated, but okay, I love this. And I think this is going to be so much fun to ride around like on the house. Or, Jake, baby, it's okay. Sorry, it's windy outside and that noise really freaks him out. He thinks someone's here, but nobody is, so. He's a very protective boy, so don't ever try to sneak up on me in my own home because Jake will rip you apart. Um, <laughs> okay, so anyways, with hoverboards, I think they're super cool. I think that once I get it down, I'll have it down and then I'll be able to do it, no problem. However, and I don't really talk about this much because I don't want my channel to be depressing or seem sad or make you guys think like, oh wow, she's just like going for sympathy because I swear I'm not, but I was in a car accident like, five years ago, I believe. And ever since then, since I think three days after the accident, I have had headaches every single day. Like there's never been, or no, I shouldn't say that. There's probably been a couple days, like I could count on one hand, where I haven't had headaches. However, it doesn't happen frequently. So I am very, very cautious with what I do because I don't want to hit my head or fall or anything like that because I'm scared that my headaches are just going to get worse and I'm kind of at my wit's end. Like I've tried so many different therapy options and like things that I don't even really want to do, but it's like it might help me. So I try it. So that's why I'm, I hate to say I'm reluctant to try this because I want to. It's just these kind of things make me nervous because I don't want to fall and get hurt. However, that being said, this is pretty dope. And I'm trying to think if I could practice in the hall. I don't know. Okay, I'm very nervous about this, but this is pretty cool. Okay, I'll show you guys real quick and then I should probably wrap up this video. <laughs> All right, so here she is. I hope you guys can see it. So it's one of those where you can like, where it twists, where I could like lean my left foot forward and then lean this one back. And then you go in a circle. Okay, this is really cool though. So. I'm really curious how this works. Okay, if I do, uh, I'm so on the fence about giving this a go, but <laughs> I guess as long as I wear a helmet and the knee pads and stuff, this should go pretty smoothly. I will let you guys know. However, this video has gotten to be very, very long. Thank you so much for all the stuff. I'm very excited to try the Cricut and the record player will be probably in a lot of my videos coming up because I'll use it for B-roll and whatnot. So thank you. I love all this stuff. I think this is super cool and I really appreciate it all. And I hope that you know that. I know I'm not always the best at showing it, but honestly, thank you. Cause this is really cool and I appreciate you. <laughs> that being said, I'm gonna let you guys go this is gonna be a long video. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you come back for another YouTube video. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>